My name is Randy Bigley, joining me now from the Bucyrus Public Library. Coulter Keys, good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? I'm doing well, doing well. How about yourself? Doing well. Library staying busy, getting ready for the uh, upcoming season. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Which, uh, which is the, you know, it's coming up real soon. Isn't yeah, it? it is, right? Um, yeah, and so uh, today what, what we wanted to come in and talk about is we have a new project. Mm -hmm. It's called the Visual Orally Oral History Project. Okay. And so ultimately, we all have our stories, and I imagine you have stories that when sure. you see your friends, your family, you tell, and maybe if you're like me, you tell it more than one time. Right. You know, they, they know the stories really well. Yes. We all have these stories we want to tell, but unfortunately, unless, unless we want to spend a lot of time writing them down, mm -hmm. and even if we do write them down, they're saved in a journal, the majority of us... Uh, I guess I'll speak to myself, aren't likely to be famous enough that people are going to study, right. <laughs> study and record our stories for history. Right. But Bucyrus, people in Bucyrus, people in Crawford County have lived full, rich, interesting mm -hmm. lives. And what we want to do at the library is give them the opportunity to not only record them, but share them and save them for posterity. Okay. So what we're doing is we're invite, we're, we've scheduled time and we're inviting um, residents of Crawford County to come in and schedule an oral history interview. And what we'll do is um, a staff member will sit down, we'll have a conversation, ask them some questions about topics, maybe about their family heritage, about growing up, maybe about love and relationships, um, anything that largely what they're interested in talking about and sharing. And we'll use a really great app, it's called StoryCorps. Okay. And what StoryCorps does, it, it has an application, but also has recording booths around the country, and it invites people, Americans to come in, or people in the United States to come in, to share their stories. Mm. And then what happens, whether you use, you go to a recording booth or you use the app, those interviews are then saved at the Library of Congress for okay. posterity. Okay, yeah. You know, and so what we wanted to do is first is to give the community the opportunity to share these stories, these stories that are in our hearts, right, that sooner or later we're all going to pass on, right. and that if we don't share and record, they'll be lost. Sure. Um, but we also wanted to bring down. We wanted to make it as easy and accessible as possible. That's where we come in, where we are scheduling the interviews and asking the questions and the follow-up questions along those lines. Okay. Um, so through November through December, um, anyone in the community can come to the library, and we will. They can schedule an interview. So it's Tuesdays. Let me look this. I'll look at make sure I'm right. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday evenings, Thursday or Friday mornings, and there's some select Saturdays, so they can schedule an interview, and therefore. Um, Approximately each interview is the maximum is 45 minutes because that's the long, longest the apps will let us do. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, um, but just sit down and it's more of a conversation about stories that you probably already tell your family and mm -hmm. friends. Um, and then from that, um, it's like, well, wait, but wait, there's more. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> right, our, right. Our, our goal is not only do we want to share these stories, but we want to engage um, the youth in our community to do some inter intergenerational learning. Okay. Um, um, you know, there, there seems, to, you know, there's a big gap right there. And um, so the goal is, the plan is, not the goal, is we're going to hold a visual storytelling workshop for area high school students. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll be taught by a teaching artist. And then they'll be taught how to take some of these oral histories, some of them, maybe the more, the ones that lend themselves to be a little bit more visual, and then illustrate them into a comic book. And from that, then we want to use that art and have some rotating art exhibits to share not only the stories that are told, but yeah. the art themselves that that the high school created. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think it's 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 interesting. You know, when I I, I was a Peace Corps volunteer in China, mm -hmm. and when I was there, um, one I, I taught English in my speaking English class. We did oral histories, and you you never know the story people are going to tell unless you give them the opportunity. Sure. So. Strangely enough, I, I taught in Gansu, and my students all seemed a coming a, a coming of age story seemed mm -hmm. to be to go into your family your your neighbor's yard and steal some watermelons or fruit, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. But oh, then, yeah. but then they would also interview their the uh, someone who's a generation older than them, and they would still talk tell stories about the Great Leap Forward, the Cultural Revolution, things along those lines. And so, if you don't give the opportunity for people to share those stories, they're ultimately lost. Sure. Right. Yeah. Just give the opportunity for people to the stories will be saved, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and I think, I think I don't know. And I, I've often thought, and I've mm -hmm. talked to my parents, you know, um, about um, 
great. Write down some of your favorite stories. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've also thought, you know, it's like my dad's told me a my dad's told me a lot of stories mm -hmm. in his life. You know, whether they're true or not. Right. <laughs> that's right. that's questionable. I'm joking. Right. But, yeah. yeah. But do you know what I mean? But the, there's there's rich stories. Right. You know, and I imagine a, a lot of people in this community have had that conversation or had that thought about a parent or a loved one in their life or stories about their own. Mm -hmm. And so I think what this does is give them a very quick, easy way to record that, but that not only that's going to be recorded into the library, mm -hmm. that would be able to be saved to the Library of Con Congress and then also able to be searched and, and shared publicly okay. for posterity. Oh, wow, yeah, that's great. Yeah, Because, you know, unfortunately when somebody passes on, those stories are all gone if, yep. they, if you don't record them. Yeah, and we and yeah. we've we've we we've, we've really just started, um, mm -hmm. and we've been very fortunate. Orchard Park um, partnered with us and allowed yeah. us to come in and speak to some of their residents that oh, residents great. who expressed mm -hmm. an interest. You know, but but it's 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 not only necessarily for senior citizens. While we definitely want to focus, given that mm -hmm. that opportunity, um, but it's for for anyone for any age. Maybe you have a story of your favorite meal at Thanksgiving right. with a family member. You know, or uh, I could talk, you know, I could tell a story for me about living in Myanmar or mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Um, so I think everyone has a story and we're not looking for live stories. We're looking for these, these, we're looking for maybe a, stories about these really interesting moments. For example, we, we recorded an interview with um, different residents um, in Orchard Park and one was about growing up in West Virginia mm -hmm. and making root beer with her, her family always making root beer. And then she always knew, every, she always knew when the root beers, the word got out that the root beer is ready because the kids who were playing hide and seek just increased by like 40%. <laughs> wow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and so exactly. like like those those wonderful stories that I don't think we very often think of yeah, right. as history are just not only kind of heartwarming, but they're important to be shared, yeah. shared and saved as well. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. So when can you do that again? We can yeah, it's 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 from November. It's for going on right now through the mid mid uh, mid December, and it's Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday evenings, Thursday Friday mornings, and select Saturdays. You just need to come to the library or yeah. give us a call at four one nine five six two seven three two seven, um, and we'll schedule one you schedule you and set you up. Fantastic. Great. Great. All right. Thank you. What else is happening? Anything else? Oh, there's a lot happening. I mean, there's when it goes with, um, you've yeah. got, um, there is, I've been out for a couple days, but yeah. there's line dancing coming up for, for adults. There's um, music movement and more. There's always um, opportunities for board games mm -hmm. and BD, uh, some eSport tournaments at the library. There's a lot, a lot of opportunities. I encourage everyone to go to our, come into the library just to, just to check, but also you can go on to our, onto our website and check out our calendar. I think there's something for everybody to find. What's your website? Uh, it's BusirisLibrary.org. You, you asked me a question, <laughs> man. Man, I thought I did. I thought I did well. <laughs> you did. You did. That's just fine. Yeah. Or I, Google it. You'll figure it out. Yeah, you Google it. There we go. <laughs> just Google Busiris Library, Ohio. You're all right. You're fine. <laughs> Woo! I was doing so well. You just, just tanked me. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> What are your hours out there? Um, it's going to be, um, whew, so Monday through Thursday, yeah. it's going to be from 9 to 8, Friday 9 to 6, and then it is 10 to 2 on Saturdays. Right. Ooh, got that one. <laughs> you did well there. All right. <laughs> cool. Cool. Thank you so much thank for coming you. in today. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Really, thank you.